When working on this piece, one of the first things I notice is that it's a transcription. And when playing transcriptions, I like to find out as much about the piece as possible. In this case, I found out that this is from a piece called Six Caprices for, Gar for Guitar by Carcassi. A quick search on IMSLP pulled up an original guitar part. When comparing this work to the guitar score, I found that the beaming was done a bit differently in the guitar score and was emphasizing the left hand notes. Essentially, the left hand is your melody and should be brought out. Along with the melody line, I found a few notes that were misprinted in the marimba transcription. In measure 10, the very last note should be an F sharp. In measure 15, the very first note should be an A. And in measure 29, the B on beat four should be an A as well. When practicing this piece, it's important to be aware of the left hand part and to bring it out a little so that the melody can be heard. For example, in the first measure, the crescendo should take place primarily in the left hand and the repeated Ds in the right hand should not be louder than the melody. The same concession is, is made throughout the entire work. Sticking is very important in this piece as well, and particular care should be given to the right hand triple lateral strokes that are found throughout the piece. Some simple triple lateral exercises at the interval of a third will help with these. When practicing them, be aware of the consistency of all three notes and make them even. In measures 17 and 21, I have changed the sticking. Instead of utilizing the triple laterals in the right hand as indicated in the marimba part, I decided to bring my left hand up to play the eighth notes. This was done because of the beaming I found in the original guitar music. This indicated that those E's were actually a part of the melody. By using my left hand, I can bring out those notes and the melody a little more. This piece really benefits from slow, deliberate practice. It's important to take this slow at the beginning so that you, as the performer, can hear the consistency of all the notes being played. Make sure that every note is heard and that the melody is brought out. Once you feel that has been accomplished, the tempo can be brought up slowly, paying attention to those same factors. Although it is marked at Allegro, be sure not to take this piece any faster than you can technically play it. Finally, for the very last three measures, I like to make a bit more out of the ritardando. This will emphasize the dominant seventh chord on beats three and four of measures 55 to help the final D major chords be more dramatic. I hope you enjoy working on this piece and good luck with your Lions Band audition.